Okay. The, the circle K has that center and that chord AB, where AB is, is given as four root three. The point D is the midpoint of the chord as shown. Find the radius K. So it looks like they're wanting this distance here. I can note this distance from just good old coordinate geometry. Um, the CD distance would be the square root of 3 minus 1 is 2 squared is 4. 2 minus minus 2 is 4 squared is 16. And that's root 20. Fine. Um, and I know that the DB distance is 2 root 3 because they give me the AB distance in the, for the question. So then the CB distance, or I should really say BC distance, shouldn't I? Which is the K. I can get that from Pythagoras. Tw square root, that squared plus that squared, 3 times 4, 12. Uh, the square root of 32, which is 4 root 2. Show that that circle and that circle touch externally. So this circle is centered at 713. And the other one is at uh, minus 2 and 1, I think. So for them to touch externally, the distance between the centers should be the sum of the radii. So that distance there would be the square root of 81 plus 144, which is 15. Uh, radius 1 is 5. And radius 2, oh, what's the formula? It's um, uh, square root... Minus 2 squared plus 1 squared minus the C, isn't it? So that's square root 100 then, which is 10. So indeed, 15 does equal 5 plus 10. So they touch externally. Uh, there are an infinite number of circles which touch C externally at the at the same point that S touches C. Find the coordinates of the center of one of these circles apart from S. Oh, what's going on? So I have one circle, C, and another circle, S, and there's an infinite number of circles which touch circle C externally at the same point. Find the coordinates of the center of one of these circles apart from S. Okay, so what I'll do is, uh, I know the C, I don't know where they meet, I know I could work it out. What would be the best thing to do here? This is quite the interesting question now. Yeah, okay. This circle, um, let's say C there, what I say C was, minus 2, 1, and then S would have a center at 7, 13. I know this isn't a scale. And then they're going to meet here. Uh, um, but I think what I'll do is I'll just extend this line out further to make another point here. I'll just go out the same distance 
and then just draw a larger circle here. So I'll just find this point, which is the same distance out. So to go from here to here, I have to add 9 and add 12. So if I just do that two times, I finish up at 16 and 25. That's interesting. That's interesting. And that's the end of it. Am I right? I don't know. Very odd question. I'm not having I'm not having great feelings about paper two. So far anyways. <laughs>